I, listen, I know the announcers, uh, they're not uh, Ross Soley and Russell. It's not Monsoon and Heenan. It's not, uh, 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 you know, uh, breaking records and, and setting the world on fire. But it's, it's what the WWE wants. And when when you sign with a certain team, you got to go by their playbook. So um, right. the mute button is your friend if you don't like it. But uh, 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 I'm a fan of Cole's professionalism and his journalistic approach. I'm a fan of the fact that JBL will just say whatever randomly pops into his head. Um, Including telling and he'll, to he'll usually everything. try to put somebody over by comparing them to someone that the audience has no idea who they are. Um, like he made a Farmer Burns reference a couple weeks ago, <laughs> who was a wrestler about 110 years ago. Mm-hmm. And I'm not exaggerating <laughs> wow. at all. He referenced Frank Gotch and Farmer Burns. Uh, he routinely references pop culture from like the fifties and sixties, uh, uh, James Dean, John Wayne. Um, he always compared Paul London and Brian Kendrick to Sean and Steve Simpson. And I, I barely know who Sean and Steve Simpson are (laughs) just barely enough to understand the reference, but also understand that that's not putting Paul and Brian over at all because <laughs> no one else gets the reference but me. If anything, it puts Sean and Steve Simpson over. So if they want to make a nostalgia run, they can. Um, so, uh, you know, between learning and just picking out little nuggets of of, uh, of um, entertainment, when they haze Byron Saxon, I enjoy that too. Um, <laughs> you know, l- little stuff like that. Uh, uh, but... I guess the moral of the story is it, it's it's a really, really complicated job. And um, I've heard from announcers that have been there. You could have a flawless show, but you flub one line or do one thing that, that the powers that be don't want you to do. Um, you will get an earful when you get to the back. Jeez. So it's it, it, it at times cannot be pleasant, but I, I believe they're doing the best they can. But it's, it's, it's the WrestleMania. It's the top billing in that line right i mean that's 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 kind of kind of it's gonna be you know i think i think joe really does sum it up when he says like you know they're they are doing what they are told to do and and in a sense of if you don't like maybe the content of what they're saying or or some of the things they're bringing up which i think is what the email mentions like that's on what wwe wants to portray um I had the uh, the privilege of uh, picking the brain of, of someone recently that uh, is currently employed by the WWE, and that's the one biggest av- piece of advice they told me is that no matter where you're working, you the the the, um, the way that you do commentary is what your boss wants it to be. The the style and the story that they want you to portray is what you need to portray on commentary, um, and I think that's what WWE that's what Michael Cole and all those guys are doing. They're they're um, you know, both, you know, pre, you know, before the show with notes and stuff like that, but also uh, with, you know, people in their ear telling them, uh, mention this or, or say this or, or whatever. Um, and and that, that's immensely tricky. I've, I've luckily never had the, uh, the opportunity to, to do anything along that line. And, and I can't even imagine how it would affect um, uh, my performance. So I, you, you have to take that into account. Though. And we actually have a picture up here from from the chat room of uh, this is what the show notes look like, and they're they're full on scripts that they're taping to the table at this point. That's crazy, uh, but yeah, that, that's what they get. They don't have a teleprompter. He's got to read that off. He's got to deal with that and 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 pull whatever spin on it that he can within that structure. So um, I don't know, LB Mike, do you have any thoughts on this before we uh, move on uh, from your side? Uh, well, as as the only person who's done commentary with Michael Cole. <laughs> and what a fan access, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. At, at WrestleMania 19 fan access. Um and the only one on here that has been employed at one point by WWE. Yeah. Um separate instances. Uh but yeah, like it's not it's not easy. It it, it really isn't. Like I know we give them a lot of guff. Mm-hmm. But you know, I mean sometimes they deserve it, sometimes they don't, but I think if they, I think if WWE scaled back, like what the announcers had to say, we'd be more impressed with what the announcers did say. Right. Like because they, it's kind of like they're tr- like they're like they're working a match too, just trying to get their stuff in. You know, like <laughs> yeah, 
like like there's certain spots you have to hit. Like, oh, you have to hit the ref bump. Yep, you gotta mention Twitter. You gotta hit the corner. You gotta, you gotta work in like Papa John's ads. You gotta like, you uh, gotta do that spin spinning uh, flippy move off the top rope. Well, that's uh that's your weird that's hundred. Michael Cole saying vintage. Uh, that, like, yeah, that's vintage, or that's uh, JBL saying some reference for a hundred ten year old wrestler. You know? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, I was gonna say, that's the line you use for the promo package. That's yeah, right. I mean, there you go. It's almost brought it's to you almost, by Kickstart. Yeah, like if you took out. <laughs> Brought to you by Karate Fighters. Uh, but if, if you took out like some of the stuff, so- brought, because- brought to you by Stridex. I'm sorry, I'm just going through. Them. <laughs> so I know. Can we can we mention how like uh, obviously comparing the two Survivor Series with tournaments? How we've gone from Karate Fighters to what like Rollades now as the sponsor? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's Chris bring that back around because I I brought up the Slammies from what 1987, also sponsored by Rollades. Really? Acid. Yeah. Kick acid, Sork. Kick acid. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Um, and then the the 1994 edition that I, was on WWE I, Mania, all straight X. I bet that I bet that tagline for Rollades made more sense in the '88 Slammies than it does now. <laughs> Probably. Probably. I, I think. I think. <laughs> sorry, but I, going on ads in wrestling again. Um, I think the uh, the greatest one I've ever seen is the King of the Ring 1998, which like like they do the big like promo package where it's like Hell in the Cell with Taker and, and Mankind and. It was like first blood with Austin and Kane, and then it just goes into Super Soaker. It brings you <laughs> <laughs> Super Soaker of Blood. Uh, LB, LB, you're, you're, LB, you also have a, a very short uh, experience with commentating and wrestling. Uh, uh, what do you have, have any thoughts on this before we move on? Well, I, I want to say I miss Jim Ross freaking out about Skittles. That oh, was good. Oh, yes. Skittles, <laughs> rainbow, um, fruity. Ah, by God. <laughs> There's people uh, in yeah. there. Commentating is very hard. That's definitely true. And uh, especially when you don't know anything or anybody and you're just put in front of a